What's up? This is Squad2448. We're following Stranger Sound Team video. Today we'll be doing some towing and repoing here on the mowing map with a variety of tow trucks. We'll be hopping in the Chevy 3500 HD and we'll be making our way over to the shop. Today we'll be using the Heavy Wrecker to repo a few flatbeds, a Hummer. Then we'll be switching over to the rollback to tow a old car back over to its house since it did break down at the local gas station. And we will be repoing a brand new Chevy pickup which should be a lot of fun. This Chevy 3500 HD Dually is a great truck to drive to and from our shops. I really do like doing that. It's pretty cool. And as you guys can see, we are just about here at the tow shop. We will be parking right out front, which is pretty cool. And let me know down below in the comments, should we add a tow bar to this truck? We did add one to an older Chevy, which was pretty cool. But I think adding one would be pretty cool and awesome so we'll kind of walk over here we first hopping in the Ford F350 we'll get this one tow job out of the way since they are waiting for us at the gas station and it's an old classic car did break down looks like it's not turning over not starting so we'll kind of pull forward here and we'll be making our way over in the Ford F350 rollback I really do like this truck it's perfect for uh, doing the town towings everything like that and I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content I really do enjoy doing daily farming some videos. These are a lot of fun and we have been averaging just about one repo video a week Which is awesome changing up repoing different things and it's awesome that this repo company this repo series is doing great on the channel Because I really do enjoy doing this so as you guys can see we are pretty close to the gas station It's right over there to the right in the distance and it looks like it's an old two-door Chevy Impala So I mean it's pretty old but we'll be loading this up and we'll be bringing it back to their house and we'll actually unload it into their garage so that they can work on it in their free time so we have arrived here and I think the best thing for us will be to kind of drive through and get it from the back it's a little bit easier and there is a little bit more room especially not with the building up front but this gas station is pretty tight and we'll have to work around that once we do this one towing job, we will be switching over to repos, and I think we'll go get the most expensive ones out of the way first. That's how we've been doing them lately. We go get the ones that really are expensive, are hard to find, then we go after the easy ones. So we'll kind of roll back, and you guys can see this is awesome. I do like all of those LED lights all the way around, and overall this is one pretty cool F350 rollback. We'll be hopping into the Chevy Impala, and we should be able to kind of roll it back on. It's not too realistic that we are driving it. I really want to get a winch, which should be pretty cool. But as you guys can see, we've got this loaded on, and we'll definitely have to kind of slide it back. I'm not sure if the locking script will work. As you guys can see, it looks like the locking script is working, which is pretty cool. I really do like that feature. It's very realistic. We'll be raising the tow bar back up, and I think we'll probably turn over here to the right. It's a little bit easier, and there's a lot more room since we are pretty close over there to the side of that gas pump. And then we'll be making a left out of here. And if you do have any cool repo ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I really do like featuring this series here on the channel. And repoing is when a owner of a vehicle does not pay the bank or the dealership wants it back so that they can sell it, get the money out of it that they were expecting and take no loss because I mean vehicles are pretty pricey and uh, everybody does not want to lose any money. So their house is just down the road over here to the left will be unloading it into their garage. But this F-350 is doing a great job and this will be one of a few rollbacks we are using today. But once we are done using this, we'll be hopping in the Heavy Wrecker, and uh, the Hummer is very heavy, and the F650 flatbed is pretty large for a normal F350, even a Ram uh, 3500 to kind of work. So we'll have to go on the grass just a little bit as we kind of turn around here, and kind of, uh, I think we'll probably put it in their larger bay. They did give us the keys to their garage since they... We're getting their own ride back. So take a look at that, guys. We are just about going to unload this. I mean, this truck is awesome. I really do like the single cabs. It's a little bit easier to move around with everything like that. So as you guys can see, we've got this all lined up. We'll kind of slide this back. And I think we'll probably kind of lock it once again. And I really do like this locking strip. It's pretty cool. And as you guys can see, with the locking script, it does move the truck around just a little bit. That's not too realistic, 
but it is also realistic that it does work and uh, we just need to get a few of those bugs uh, kind of worked out but as you guys can see we got the towing job done which is pretty cool this is pretty different for us towing we usually uh, are called by a company to kind of go tow a vehicle but this time we are towing a broken down old car which is pretty cool we'll raise up the tow bar and we'll be making our way back over to the shop and I did do some pretty cool epic upgrades for mowing map version 3 I've already started and I mean I'm very excited for that I will be keeping it a surprise I might feature it in a few videos coming up and I also also we'll be adding more buildings and even making it seasons ready and have working traffic so there's a bit, lot of big things coming for version 3 and I'm getting them all worked out which is awesome so as you guys can see we are arriving back here at the tow shop that was a very simple tow and I really do like doing those and it does help us kind of branch out into different types of towing everything like that for the company so we'll be kind of backing up over here we'll be opening up this garage door and this one since we will be uh, hopping in the heavy wrecker first we'll be backing in and that looks to be just about good pretty close to that f650 back there but we should be good and i think we'll first go after the hummer since that is very expensive and it's pretty heavy and i don't think uh our smaller vehicles will be working for it and i do not want to uh use a smaller tow truck and risk like pulling a wheelie or uh, just uh damaging the hydraulic system of the lift so we'll be just taking the heavy wrecker and i am working on making a much smaller one maybe half this size which will be pretty cool but as you guys can see this is awesome how it's blacked out and it's still going to do a pretty good job so we are going over to I would say a pretty cool like a condo area which is awesome it's over here to the left so we'll be taking a left coming up and like I was saying I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the positive comments you guys are awesome and I do enjoy responding to all of you guys so if you do have any cool ideas let me know down below in the comments and let me know how your day is going also so as you guys can see we are coming up here on it and I mean we did get a tip that it was already here or else we'll have to kind of look around make sure it is but we'll uh, get the arm lowered down make sure it's all ready for us to go we'll get that extended out our beacon lights everything like that on and Hummers are very large very heavy and very wide and I'm not sure if uh, having Hummers this wide would fit on our normal rollbacks so bringing it with this larger truck is pretty cool and we do get to feature it on this pretty cool video so we're going back up here and we'll attach As you guys can see, we got it attached. We just want to make sure it's a correct VIN. The license plate does match up, which is awesome. And usually before we do attach to the vehicles, we want to make sure. But take a look at that, guys. It is a correct one. Looks like they did add a few extra lights, even a winch in the front, which is pretty cool. But we'll be making our way back over to the shop. This is very, very heavy. Hummers are pretty large, and they also are gas colors take a lot of gas and I mean not too economical when you do have to fill up your gas tank every single day with these things but overall it's one very cool uh, truck and I would also like to thank all of the modders for making awesome mods which I do use in all of my videos I do appreciate it and I do also thank them for all of their hard work so take a look at that guys we are pretty close back over to the tow shop and let me know down below in the comments should we move to another tow shop I am looking around finding new buildings for us which is very exciting I always do like many new buildings but take a look at that guys we are just about back here we'll be kind of backing this in unloading it and then we'll be making our way over to the F650 which will be pretty cool this Western Star Heavy Wrecker really does a great job. We do feature this and the Rotator version in our Heavy Rescue series just because these are pretty cool and we will be featuring the Kenworth one. That's been around for a pretty long time. So we'll be uh, featuring those once again because I really did like that. And backing a pretty small vehicle in with this is uh, not too easy because it really likes to turn pretty fast. And I'm not sure if it's too realistic for a large truck like this to be towing a giant vehicle. So let me know down below in the comments if it is just that uh, it's definitely able to kind of handle the weight of the Hummer and not uh, any of our other trucks would be able to. So we are kind of pulling out here from our shop and we'll be making our way across town over to get the F650 at an apartment building.
We'll be taking a right over here, and as you guys can see, we're going through like a mini downtown section, which is awesome. There's a lot of different buildings and shops all around the map here on the mowing map, and like I was saying, I did do a lot of upgrades to the mowing map, and it should be released maybe by the end of the month, which should be pretty cool. And then uh, I really am excited for it. A lot of big upgrades, which are awesome, and you guys will be enjoying them all. So as you guys can see up here to the distance is a pretty large apartment building to the left. And that is where this F650 flatbed is. It's a very large and long truck, and I do not want to be uh, pushing the limits of our smaller tow trucks, especially when we have to go a pretty long distance, not just a few blocks. But take a look at that, guys. We have arrived here, and I did also get a tip for this one, but on a few of the ones later on today, we will have to look out in the area. But take a look at that, guys. We've arrived here. We'll be getting the tow bar down. And take a look at that. We will have to make sure it is the correct bin. But, I mean, I did find this F650 on a pretty cool modding website. And this one looks awesome. So we'll kind of back up. Looks like we are just about there. That looks awesome. We'll just double check. And we'll take a quick look at it. So, I mean, take a look at this F650. This flap, it looks awesome. I will be featuring this in a mod review. And it is also color changeable. But looks like they did customize the front uh, bumper. And we'll hop up here, and yep, it's the correct bins. So we'll kind of uh, attach to it. As you guys can see, we got it attached, and you usually would put some chains on it, a few other things like that. And sometimes you would pretty much be pulling it from the front because four-wheel drive could be activated. And I uh, hopefully believe that it is not. And I think it would be pretty cool to get a four-wheel drive mod where you could activate it and all four wheels would spin. That would be pretty cool. Then you could deactivate it and have a two-wheel drive rear uh, wheel drive pickup truck, which would be pretty cool. But as you guys can see, this is one epic truck. It does have a lot of LED lights all around. Pretty expensive. And that is why they called us up to repo it. This Western Star Wrecker is one awesome truck. I really do like it, and we will definitely have to build a much smaller one, maybe half the size, maybe just one of those axles in the back with those pretty large wheels, and maybe even the same cab. So I will be looking into that, and hopefully we could release that. That will be a pretty cool vehicle to release, and having these LED lights are also pretty realistic. So we will just be leaving this attached to the truck since we'll be hopping in the ram and we'll be making our way over to the second last repo of the day and that's going to be a pretty interesting one we'll definitely have to kind of look around make sure that we are in the correct location everything like that so that's going to be pretty cool kind of looking around making sure and then uh, even kind of running and jumping over a fence to make sure it is so we're going to pull in here take a look at that pretty sharp turning and looks like we are not able to clear so we'll have to back up very close to hitting that truck but it looks like we did a good job we'll kind of pull forward in here and we do not want to block that Kenworth just in case we do need that and I think we will be using that a little bit later on today which should also be pretty cool we'll be uh, opening up this garage door and take a look at this we'll be using the Ram 5500 heavy duty rollback very cool tow truck I really do like this one a lot we'll raise up the tow bar just a little we'll have to kind of go look around and and that's always pretty exciting having somebody look around and we will be doing some multiplayer videos here on the channel very soon As you guys can see this Ram rollback is completely blacked out has blacked out wheels on it blacked out cab and it does have chrome in the front and I do get a lot of requests to keep the chrome on it which we will be doing I do like it with and without the chrome but what we will be doing is we're going to be parking off I would say at the start of this little roundabout street I think we'll probably kind of park right about here as you guys can see this looks pretty good and we'll kind of park it right here and we'll be making our way over to this house I mean take a look this is one very large house and they do have a Chevy Colorado which they are not making payments on but let me know down below in the comments guys should we replace this fence at this house I do think it's a pretty nice fence but it also might be out of place and take a look at this looks like it's half in the garage half not which is pretty helpful and if it the garage doors were closed we would not be able to kind of get in here but take a look at that looks like it is a correct bin everything does match on it which is awesome and we'll have to kind of run back over to our truck and hope that nobody did see us 
Now you always do have to double check to make sure it is the correct vehicle because many vehicles could have the same color, even the same looks or mods because many people do uh, probably like the same taste, everything like that. So the VIN is the vehicle's identification number which is unique to every vehicle. So there can be two of the same which is awesome and that's why you always do have to double check it. We'll kind of be pulling down into the driveway, it's a pretty long driveway to back in and take a look at those reflections off those windows. That's pretty cool. We'll be coming up here on the grass, not too realistic because we might have to pay for new grass if they do complain. We'll get this uh, kind of rolled back and we'll get this loaded on. Like I was saying earlier, I really think that it will be pretty cool to have a winch installed onto the tow truck We you do back up and just attach, we'll, but we'll be backing this on, fits pretty well on it, it is a quarter ton Chevy Colorado, and this one is sold in other parts of the world, not exactly the US or Canada, but they are coming but they do already sell a Colorado in the United States, which is pretty cool. We'll be sliding this back. As you guys can see, that really does work out pretty nice, and I do like that a lot. So we'll be making our way back over to the shop, and we'll be hopping in the Kenworth uh, T800. That's a pretty large truck, and that's going to be a little bit better than this Ram 5500 to go after the last repo of the day. If you do have any cool repo ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I really do like using your video ideas to help out with making some pretty cool videos. So we'll be taking this right over here. And the mowing map is pretty easy to navigate, very small. And I mean, the streets are pretty easy to drive on, which is pretty cool. And see, uh, mowing map version 3 will be seasons ready. And we will be ready to plow with it, which will be awesome. I really do like all of the LED lights all around this truck, looks pretty cool, and actually it looks like the rollback wasn't all the way down, which isn't good. Some tow trucks do have the safety uh, noises, safety features also, to kind of let you know that it's not exactly working right. But as you guys can see, we have arrived back here at the repo tow shop, where we kind of are uh, parking this up. And we'll be hopping into the Kenworth. We'll be unloading at another time just because we really want to keep this just around pretty uh, awesome 10 to 15 minute of videos. So we are uh, hopping on this inside view. This thing looks pretty cool. And we'll be making our way over to repo the last one of the day, which is a Dodge D250. It's a pretty old truck, but they did take out a loan to restore it and get some cool modifications which they could not afford. And this is one awesome truck to kind of use and drive around with. As you guys can see, this one does not have the tow bar in the back. It does have dual axles, which is pretty helpful. That's pretty nice with uh, extra weight, and we actually do use this a lot for repo and construction equipment, which is pretty heavy. But we should be coming up here on the garage. You guys could see it in the distance, which is pretty cool. We'll be turning our LED lights on just now, a little bit easier, and we'll be kind of pulling in here. And hopefully nobody does come out from the garage area, but take a look at that. This is one pretty cool truck. We're back up here, we look like uh, we will have to kind of go on the grass just a little bit. We'll have to turn around. Awesome, so we'll be sliding this back. And that looks to be good just about lo there. Looks like the wheels did come off the ground just a little, and I did fix that. We'll also have to double check to make sure this is the correct one. We'll hop up here and take a look at that, guys. It is the correct bin. We'll be backing this on, and hopefully this truck is wide enough for us to work. And it looks like it is, which is pretty cool. I don't think the Ram would have been able to take this wide dually. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's towing and rebuilding video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.